Hello everyone. My name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter. And in this video, we will start creating the UI for our AI image creator feature. So, if I click on this now, you will see a user interface showing here. There is a text field which have some text written in it. There is a placeholder lottie and there is a create button and if you type something here then it will generate a ai generated image and it will show it here okay so we need to implement this functionality into our application so first we will design the ui in this video so this is our application and now if i click on this now you will see a blank user interface opens here now first we want a text field here so actually we have already created a text field in our chatbot feature so what i will do is i will just copy the code snippets of it okay so simply this one text form field so i can just copy this text form field and then we can move to our image feature and inside this list view i can simply paste this one and i can also copy some attributes of list view okay like if i just move below you can see we have added some physics we have added some padding so we can just copy these attributes and simply inside our image feature uh, simply we can paste those attributes but I don't require this call controller in this case and we need to import this media query for now and another thing I want some spacing from right and left too so I will add that to in some time and another thing we don't have a controller right now so for now just comment this and if I press control save you will see a text field but the thing is it is just too curved I don't want it to that curve so simply I'm using 10 here and another thing I want two lines here not just a single line so what I can do is I can specify an attribute called as minimum lines to 2 and if I press ctrl save now it will throw an error because if you specify minimum lines you also have to specify these maximum lines so for now I'm specifying it as null which means it can take whatever the available maximum space is okay but minimum it should be two lines and now if I press control save you will see two lines are showing here and as I said we need some left and right padding so simply mq dot width and let's say 0.4 percent and from right to mq dot width and simply 0.4 percent and if I press control save uh, it looks a bit decent but this text need to be changed so what I can do is simply here imagine something wonderful and innovative and I have used a backslash and so it moves to the next line and type here and I will create for you and you can type anything you like it's totally up to your wish and if you are finding this text too big then you can reduce the font size a little bit okay like 13 and if I press ctrl save I think it's a bit too small so let's say 13.5 and another thing we don't require this white background color we just want to adapt it according to the background theme so just removing and is dense is also not required so simply like this and if I tap on it you will see the keyboard opens and that looks a bit decent here okay so simply I have added some comments here like text field AI image and create button now we need a AI image but for now we will be using a lottie as a placeholder so I'm just using lottie dot asset and we can specify the ai asset that we want to load so in my case i just simply want to load our classic asset that is ai play so simply asset slash lottie slash ai underscore play dot json and simply control save and you can see this asset looks a bit too big so we can wrap it around with the sized box okay if you wish you can give width and height to this one directly like height and mq dot height asterisk 0.3 which means 30 percent of the screen but the thing is it will get attached to the top so what i can do is rather i can use here let's say wrap with a container and i can give a some height to this container so let's say i want it to cover 50 percent of the screen height okay so 0 0.5 and if i press ctrl save now you will see it is also increasing and i will use alignment here okay so alignment dot center which means move it to center and this time you will see it moves kind of center and it looks decent to me for now now we want a create button so since we have already created a similar button in our onboarding i can just copy that elevated button and use it but what i will actually prefer is 
I will prefer creating a custom button instance of this one and then using it in the multiple screen so I can reuse the same component again and again and if I apply any property to this component then it should take place on the all the components so what I will do is inside this widget I will create a new file and I will call it custom button dot dot and simply hit enter and simply import material dot dot okay after that I will use a stateless widget here and simply name it to custom button then I can move to my onboarding and I can just copy this code snippet from here and inside this custom button I can simply paste this code snippet okay it consists of an elevated button and some custom styles that we have mentioned and some minimum width so simply import it and on pressed what we will do is we will take this on press from the user so simply I will create a variable here final void callback and I can just simply call it on tap okay and simply we can just import it and now instead of this on press I can just simply pass what user have passed or what we have passed in another screen and similarly here instead of this text I can expect this text from the user so simply like here final and string and it can be text okay so whatever we pass it will be shown here and simply text and we need to add this to so on tap and simply text and simply control save now we can reuse this button on multiple screens now first I want to use it here so what I will do is I will simply write custom button we can import it and then just like this and inside this on tap I can just cut all this stuff and paste it here and instead of this text I can just cut this last step feature and then paste it here and now I can remove this elevated button and a comma and simply control save and now the same thing we can use for our image feature okay so simply I will use that button here so simply custom button and we just need to import it so like this and for now I can just pass it as an empty function and instead of this text I can just write a create variable here and a comma and I need to add a comma here and simply control save and what you will see is this button is expanding to the whole screen uh, the reason is quite a simple we are using a list view and list view by default stretches its child like this so what we can do uh, what we can do is we can just simply wrap it with the align widget or if you wish we can just simply wrap this one with the align widget okay so by default it will move into center and list view parameters won't work on it okay so it looks decent in our case that's it we kind of design the user interface now what I'm actually looking is for I can simply create a controller for this one too okay so it will save some time in our next video so simply I can just copy paste the control and I have named it to image controller and simply image controller and similarly I can name it to image controller and another thing we don't require this scroll controller here we can remove this message now uh, we can remove even this scroll down from here and this we can also remove this too and another thing we can optimize the imports and for now we can just simply create the instance of this okay so inside this image feature what I can do is I can just simply create an instance of it so simple final and I am calling it simply a controller and simply an image controller okay and now we can import it like this and we can use it if we wish so we can just uncomment this line and it will do the work and that's it so thank you for watching see you in the next video till then bye bye